morning everyone. We are ready to leave. Yes sir. -y. We are leaving the TA that we spent the night at. I was hoping to upload some uh, videos for you guys, but uh, the internet just didn't work over here when I was parked. I was parked right there. And uh, I don't know if they don't have antennas facing this way or what the deal is, but for some reason the uh, internet was, you know, the odd time I would catch one. Uh, one tower and then it would be connected for a few seconds and then I lost it again so yeah I figured it wasn't even worth trying to upload it you know now we're gonna get out of here if we can and then we'll go deliver our load we have about three hours to go deliver our lower to our delivery place Probably three hours and 15 minutes because the last stretch is a bit of uh, narrow roads and back roads and stuff like that so that usually takes a little longer so but anyways it looks like it's a beautiful morning we had ourselves a good night of sleep right take the entrance to the right there on you go. and then keep to the left at zero yeah miles. so let's get back on the big road and Make some money, make some good miles in and hopefully we can deliver our load today and make our way over to Hazleton, we'll pick up our reload. Feet, keep to the left on I-90 East. But first we got to pay our toll, yeah. Luckily we have an easy pass so we can always go through the fast lane. Uh -huh. Well, at least in most places, you know, not every place has an easy pass, but uh, this one in particular does. There you go. Green light means go. Keep to the left on yep. east. That's nice when you have an easy pass, you know. You can just go through the fast lane and you don't need to carry that much cash on you all the time, you know. Just go through the fast lane and you're good to go. Yeah. Well, it looks like they still have a little bit of snow up here, yeah. My son was saying it was a little bit ice drizzle there earlier, but it has stopped now. Yeah. We're in the good. We're good to go. God bless foxes, the blue sky, so probably means we're going to get sunshine soon. Yeah, we might get sunshine, yeah, that's right. A couple of spots where the sky looks pretty thin, so we might get some sunshine. That would uh, be there's, nice. There's one. Yeah, way over there was two that way, and that's the way we're going, so. Yeah. Oh, well. At least we're back on the road, and I got some very exciting news for you guys. Or it's very exciting for me, anyways, since I had my truck in the shop this last week. The last two nights, my air pressure has stayed up about 80 PSI. That is extremely good for a Volvo. A Volvo usually miles. has a lot of problems with air leaks and stuff like that. Just small air leaks, but they, they're just enough so to where if you park overnight that your tanks drop down to uh, 60 PSI or 50 PSI, just enough to where your buzzer go off, you know. And for the last two nights, my pressure has been staying up for about uh, 75, 80 PSI. And we were parked here, I think we parked up here for 13 hours before I started the truck, so yeah. So that is very, very good. Still had 80 psi, man. That is that is just something I am not used to in the uh, in this particular truck or even in the, any Volvo that I've been driving. That uh, has never been that good, you know. So I managed to finally get all my pretty much all my air leaks under control. I don't know. You, you can probably never get all of them, but. Uh, 
at least I think I got 99.9% .9 of them, so that way it's only losing a little tiny bit of air somewhere, but that is as good as I'm probably ever going to get on this Volvo, you know. <laughs> some other trucks, some other brands, you know, or if it's a brand new truck, you might be it might be good for a while, but once that air leak starts, man, when they get a little older, because the Volvo has got these, uh, what they call uh, quick release connectors, and they're junk in my opinion. They're, I think they're just cheaper, and just, they're not a good design for me. Because uh, when you lose air, or you're low on air, or something like that, the connections lose their their connected their connection you know properly so whenever you start the truck back up the air up sometimes the the hose might slide out a little bit and then you might have all kinds of problems or or it might move from the from the position it was in before and then uh, you have air leaks you know so uh, then you always gotta you know find it cut off the hose and reconnect it again you know well, all it really is is you, you take a screwdriver and you push into the connector and then you can just grab your other hand and pull out the hose, you know? Well, that's how easy it actually is. But that's why I said as soon as you lose air, because there's no air pressure in it, you lose your connection, right? So that's why, why those ones aren't good. I like the old-fashioned ones better where you screw them on with the, with the proper connection and as a screw that you screw them on, you tighten them up and they stay that way no matter if there's air in there or not, you know? So, I think we got lots of problems fixed on this uh, last week, so I am very, very happy, you know? But anyways, looks like we're up there with minutes already, so we'll leave some for the rest of the day, you know? So we'll be... We'll be seeing you in a bit. Just take a look at this beautiful overpass that we got over this river. We're high and above everything, man. Look at that. Oh, man. That's pretty high, eh? Ah, I love going over overpasses like this, especially when it's summer. It's everything is green below, you know? The right there that's where the railway track goes you know a little further down they even got the power line up there you know but there's another small river right there yeah I think we got lots of these overpasses up here in Massachusetts but we're not in Massachusetts yet but we are in New York we will be in Massachusetts very soon very soon yes sir we are guys we have finished doing our delivery and now we're making our way over to Hazleton to do our delivery. I mean uh, pickup. We just did our delivery. <laughs> yeah, you know that's how it goes sometimes. You got delivery in your head and then you say delivery for something you didn't want to say delivery to. Oh well. That's okay. I make mistakes just like you do, most of you anyways. Some people will argue that they don't make mistakes, but I'm not admitting that I do make mistakes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Truck being a hooked. Yeah. Look at the beautiful scenery from way up here. You go into a valley and you come back up on the other side. different kinds of rocks, different colors, just gorgeous, eh? Yeah. Couple That's of what I thought. Couple of rivers now, man. Yeah, lots of rivers, yeah. There's another small river right there. Yeah. Anyways, we're having fun. Oh, oh, oh. If you will look closely and go back on my video, the two cars that were passing by me, the red car behind the black car, he was really 
putting his foot into it, you know, giving her. He was real close on the ass of the other car, and all of a sudden the other car is actually a cop in front of him. He turned on his lights uh, behind the red, the red car back up real fast. <laughs> that was hilarious, man. <laughs> And you know he's staying way back there. <laughs> he's no longer in the hurry anymore. <laughs> oh man, that's just funny. I wish I had, you know, I had that all on film. I, I don't know how good the camera was able to pick that up, but we're going to check that later, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was just funny. <laughs> they should do that in Canada too. They always yeah. have painted cop cars. In the yeah, undercover car, right? Oh well, so we're having fun. I guess that cop was having fun with that car too. So <laughs> he learned his lesson real quick, not to be tailgating. That's it. Don't be tailgating. Yeah, so we're traveling on I-84 right now, going over to Hazelton. Pick up our load, like I said. So well, guys. This is on Interstate I-84. I've been sitting here for about five minutes still. I haven't moved an inch. Looks like we're finally moving again. Apparently there is an accident up ahead. But, that's the way it goes. I've been here in traffic for the last 45 minutes trying to get through this here and apparently it's at mile marker 66 and we're at mile marker 60 right now I know these exits can throw you off sometimes you know because uh, New York has got different exit numbers than the mile marker so they'll throw you off but yeah so we're making good money today yeah right just kidding we're not making any money right now. Oh well, hopefully we can get out of here soon. Well guys, this is what happens I guess if you're not paying attention. We got a rolled over truck here on I-84. He's blocking both lanes. Yes siree. Oh, it's a blue Peterville too, eh? Yeah. Trying to take off the truck no they got the truck off already Steep drop Half of the tanks are laying on the ground they got a couple of wheels holy moly yeah he's got super single tires too look at that truck that's a that's a disaster holy moly that driver survived he's lucky already guys we are finished for today we uh, made it uh, into new york Again, like we were in New York this morning, but we delivered our load in Massachusetts and uh, went through Connecticut and back into New York. And then we had a horrible, horrible backup. I spent like two hours in traffic. That was just horrible. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So we stopped uh, earlier than we or further back than we wanted to we wanted to continue on further down the road I could have still continued on further on the road but I was just tired of sitting in traffic and I was done you know so I figured ah, oh, forget it I'm just gonna stop up here and call it a day and that's what we did had ourselves a nice dinner up here and now we're trying to upload some YouTube videos, so uh, that way we have a video up for you guys. We managed to get up to about 60% and then uh, all of a sudden a lot more guys came in here and now the internet seems to be pretty slow, so hopefully, and it's been kicking me out a few times already too, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we managed to at least upload one video overnight. So that way we uh, have at least Friday's video up, you know. But uh, anyways, we'll continue on tomorrow. We'll pick up our reload tomorrow morning. And then we'll make our way to Toronto. So that's about it. I hope you guys have joined me today on my journey. 
I hope you guys saw the interesting video. I actually went and checked it. And you can actually see the cop's uh, lights come on in the back of his window. So that looks pretty neat. I had me a good laugh of that. My son as well. And uh, <laughs> we just had to really laugh at that guy. You know, he backed up in a hurry, man. I mean, he, he didn't no longer want to follow that cop that close, you know. But that's just the way it goes. Sometimes it uh, just happened to be today was my lucky day that I caught it on camera. And you guys get to see it. So, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to bed. So we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.